kind of tough. Back when I was a girl, I struggled with taming my ever frizzy lion-like hair and matching my braces rubber bands with my outfit of the day. <laughs> and let's not forget puberty, a magical time in any young person's life when voices get lower, sweat levels get higher, and bodies change. And for girls, that means getting your period. <sighs> but uh, why do we continue to whisper about something that's a natural part of any woman's life? But uh, I don't whisper about mine. Instead, I call it Lucifer's Waterfall. <laughs> or Shark Week. <laughs> Luckily, I am out of middle school now. But my period still followed me to high school. <laughs> For some of the men in the room, and even some women, all of this period talk may be making you feel uncomfortable. That's exactly the problem. We live in a society that heavily stigmatizes periods, makes them an expense that some young women, even in our own community, cannot afford. And that is my concern, and it should be our concern. Menstruating is inconvenient. You don't say. <laughs> but little is being done to make sure girls my age are not distracted or worried about where the next tampon's coming from, especially at school. While it should be acknowledged that public schools are required to have a limited supply of menstrual hygiene products at the disposal of their students, they're often hidden away in a dark cabinet in the nurse's office. This simply isn't cutting it anymore. Take it from me and any other girl my age. When you're on your period, at school, and stranded without the products you need, it's embarrassing to have to leave your classroom, walk all the way down to the nurse's office, beg for a pad in front of a gaggle of your sick classmates, walk to the bathroom, use the product, and then return to your classroom, where you are greeted by your teachers and peers asking, what took you so long? Then how do you even answer? Ah, uh, I got lost. <laughs> Not only can this experience be mortifying, trust me, I know, but you end up missing out on valuable instructional time. A spokesperson for the Department of Education stated, students must feel comfortable in their classes so they can focus on learning. And having free, easy access to menstrual hygiene products is essential to make this happen. Without access to supplies, Students often miss class or do not participate as vigorously for fear of leakage and embarrassment, impacting overall educational outcomes. Additionally, periods can come unexpectedly. They're like a little surprise. <laughs> In a survey conducted by Harris Interactive, 79% of women under the age of 18 are not yet on a predictable monthly cycle, meaning they are often caught off guard and this contributes to heightened stress at school when you don't know when you will start flowing or how to take care of it. By menstrual hygiene products being conveniently located in school restrooms rather than hidden away across the building, it can take some of the stress out of a young woman's day. But besides the convenience aspect of this issue, it also comes down to financials. Periods are expensive. With a single box of pads or tampons costing seven to $10, leaving the average woman in the United States spending 80 to $120 on menstrual hygiene supplies each year. For lower income families, the cost of purchasing supplies can be more than they can afford. For example, in the public school districts of our community, there are currently 1,473 female middle and high school students eligible for free and reduced lunch. Meaning, they can't always afford food, let alone their own emergency supply of menstrual hygiene products. Easy access at schools would help alleviate some of the financial strain having a period provides. And while it's easy for school districts and leadership boards to use their own financial situations or budgets as reasons they cannot provide these products, no one 
And I mean no one thinks twice about the cost of stocking restrooms with toilet paper and hand soap and paper towels. Yet menstrual products are considered a luxury. I don't know about you, but I uh, wouldn't call my period very luxurious. <laughs> And it only costs about $4.67 per female student for schools to provide them with sanitary products for the entire school year. So in other words, for the price of a foot long at Subway <laughs> or a fancy cup of coffee at Starbucks, schools could provide their students with menstrual hygiene products for a year. So I challenge you to stand with me and support young women with the resources we need to manage our periods. Because I'm tired of living in a BYOT. <laughs> Bring your own tampon society. And as corny as it sounds, we can all make a difference. If you're a lawmaker, craft legislation that increases students' access to vital hygiene products. If you're a school administrator, leader, or teacher, facilitate open conversations with your students about their hygiene needs. And. Why not add pads and tampons onto school supplies list? Just as tissues are, both are concerns over students' health. It should be viewed the same way. And if you're a parent, why not drop a box of sanitary supplies in your daughter's school restroom? Trust me, girls everywhere will thank you. <laughs> if we all band together to increase the convenience and accessibility of menstrual hygiene products for young women, it would be a huge step in supporting the hygienic and biological needs of women, and it would make Shark Week a little less menacing. <laughs> Thank you.